Ever wonder as a work harder holic how you can do the business, do the work, and take care of your body? Ha! Huh. We've got just the person to let you know how today on Work Harder Holics. Welcome to the Work Harder Holic Show with your host, the original Work Harder Holic. Shirley Crawford, author, speaker, and small business consultant for over 20 years, helping you to work hard, play harder, and business better. Hello, 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 and welcome back to Work Hardaholics. I'm your host, Shirley Crawford, the original Work Hardaholic. And today, for you busy entrepreneurs, wannapreneurs, C-suite executives, and you're trying to figure out it's a new year, new resolutions, although you know how I feel about resolutions, but you're trying to figure out how you can eat better, live better, take better care of your body so that you can be better. Well, you know what? We are so happy to have with us none other other than Chef Wendy, who's going to help you figure out exactly how to do that. Thank you, Shirley, for having me. <laughs> I'm really super excited to be here. Well, we're going to see how excited she is in just a moment. All right, Wendy. Yes. So one of the things we always love to do before we get into the meat of the resource that we have for our entrepreneurs, want to learn a little bit more about the entrepreneur. Please tell us more about you, what you do, and how exactly did you become Chef Wendy? I'm going to go way back. Before there was Chef Wendy, before it was Kids Are Cooking, it started um, as a senior in high school. My mother, and this is this is on a personal note, but this was truly the start of my journey in all things health. My mom was diagnosed with breast cancer. Oh, wow. Yes. And it was, of course, for any family, traumatic. Um, very, we were very unsure. And I, at that time, I took on the leadership role. I can imagine. And that was preparing my mom's food, her beverages. And at that time, as a senior in high school, I felt like the world revolved around me and I had to pause. As it does when you're 18. <laughs> exactly. But anything for my mom. And so that was when I first started looking into cooking healthy, um, preparing meals, preparing dinner. And that was the first start of everything. Wow. But how did that, how did that healthful journey of a very resourceful and kind-hearted teenager lead to kids or cooking? Yes. So... Going into college, I initially um, wanted to be an accountant. I cannot visualize that. <laughs> I cannot visualize the accountant piece, but okay. That was from my father. You have to be an accountant. I said, okay, sure. Um, changed my major probably uh, immediately once I took some of those classes. When I went back to Denver, that's where I grew up, for um, just a summer break, I worked in a health food store. Mm. And with my mom still dealing with cancer, battling cancer, it was in the health food store that I really started to learn everything health, from supplementation to vegetarian to juicing. And I remember I had an amazing manager who just took the time to share Teach. She was very patient with me because I would literally leave out for lunch and walk to Burger King or McDonald's. And they mm. were in there eating tofu and juicing. And I was like, peace. And they didn't call blasphemy on your burger? <laughs> they were so patient and kind. And they really. And apparently non judgmental. And very non judgmental. And it, it drew me in. And so it was one day they were cooking lunch. I'll never forget the meal tofu with broccoli 
and she just made this amazing carrot apple lemon juice. And it was carrot, no pressure. Carrot, Carrots, apple, apples, lemon lemons. Juice. And I'm going to talk about that because I have a wonderful recipe based around that okay. first juice okay. that I ever so, tried. For those of you who are sitting out there now going, um, that sounds a little too healthy. Or because here's the thing. A lot of times when we talk about healthy. Yes. Right. Organic food is so much more than yes. than your regular traditional food. And it's the same. Like you talk about going to Burger King and McDonald's. Yeah. As a teenager, that makes sense because it's far less expensive than going over to Panera or, you know, even to the Whole Food store. Like those options, a lot of those stores and options weren't even out there at that time period. Right, right. So h- how do you combat that? There are certain fruits and vegetables. Um, they are labeled the Dirty Dozen. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. That, that took me someplace else. Okay, the dirty does it. When it comes to what you need to purchase organic, and mm-hmm. it's a lot of the more thinner skin fruits, um, berries, um, all the berries, strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, you definitely want to purchase those organic because they, because their skin is so thin, they have, they will carry the most amount of pesticides. Okay, so I don't have to worry about organic b- bananas anymore. No, pineapples, no. Apples are another dirty dozen. Oh, I was wondering, I do like my apples. Okay, yes, okay, but, okay. but there are anything that you can't buy organic, you really want to make sure you wash it thoroughly. Um, that can be with hydrogen peroxide, even Dawn dishwashing soap. You want to make a bath? Yes. Yes, you. It's very, very important to wash your fruits and vegetables. I knew about the washing, but Don just sounds so odd. Just, to me. just a little drop or two in maybe a bowl of water. Squish, swish it around, and just wash, wash it off, and rinse it off. Yeah, you definitely okay, want to okay. do that. So, can you tell us a few more of the dirty dozen? A few more of the dirty dozen. Definitely your berries, apples. The other ones are cucumbers, the thin skin, and the watery um, consistency. Yes, I love cucumbers. Yes. Okay, okay. Organic. Yes. We're getting we're getting our dirty dozen in. Okay. Yes. The other one, I'm going to say watermelon, and you may think because of the thick rind, yeah. you're okay, but it's the inside, which is ma- majority filled with water. True. The pesticides infiltrate <laughs> honestly they go through the skin wendy is and rip- into- chef wendy is ripping through my uh, my meal plan now i'm have to i'm gonna have to up my game in a few more areas yes okay yes. so um as i mentioned before um we're really excited i say excited a lot i'm gonna work on a new word but i am excited the people we bring on i'm excited about because as an entrepreneur while i don't do resolutions i do i do goals so right now we're getting ready for the half marathon it's just not too much further away and it's really important to treat your inside well to better take care of your outside and i was telling wendy earlier she has more energy than anyone else that i know and i'm willing to bet money it's because of the things that she creates and juices and eats and she's gonna tell us more about it so if you two need more energy in 2023 to get through all the things you need to do then stay tuned after this commercial break and we'll hear more from chef wendy of kids are cooking ladies are you looking to move your office from your kitchen table to a space of your own are you ready to take your business to the next level are you looking for co-working and community well then come join us at the women's business center rva located at 1510 willow lawn drive suite 100 directly across the street from the kroger at willow lawn visit us on the web at wbcrva.com or on social media at wbcrva Imagine Media Lab, a multimedia and podcast rental studio in partnership with the Women's Business Center, RVA, offers audio and video production services. Record that podcast you've always wanted to start. Create marketing and advertisement content such as voiceovers. Become a member and save on podcasting and production packages. All equipment and software is included in your rental. Located at 1510 Willow Lawn Drive, ImagineMediaLabs.com. Book your session today. Life can be a struggle. Find hope. 
healing, and answers at the Abundant Life Church of Christ, a place to encounter God through uplifting worship, singing, prayer, the preach word, and fellowship. One step can change your life. One step could shift your destiny. There has never been a better time to take that step than now. Come be our guest every Sunday at 10 a.m. at the Abundant Life Church of Christ, a place where you belong. Every first Thursday of the month, we are connecting, creating, and collaborating to brainstorm your business ideas and challenges. We support under-resourced entrepreneurs primarily, but we thrive best when we have aspiring, emerging, and established entrepreneurs in the space to create a unique and diverse incubator experience. I want to invite you to come out every first Thursday of the month to The Network Incubator, thenetworkincubator.com. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. See, I like the old shows. All right. Once again, we are here with none other than Chef Wendy of Kids Are Cooking. If you're just joining us here on Work Cardaholics, we want to give you all some opportunities to learn more about ways you can take better care of your body so you can take better care of your business. All right. So we just learned a little bit about Chef Wendy, things I did not know. Uh, about how she even came to be in this role. But now we want to learn a little bit more. Like what are the, some of the things that you're teaching kids how to cook healthy? And she has some adult stuff to relax. No problems. Hold on. But kids are like the hardest consumer of all times. What are the types of things you're sharing with them to get them engaged and to want to have kale? Kale. <laughs> or the dirty doesn't. The dirty doesn't, right. <laughs> What is so amazing, what I have seen, witnessed over the last 16 years of doing my Kids Are Cooking program, I call it positive peer pressure. Okay. Positive peer pressure. It's about time peer pressure was positive. (laughs) And what I've noticed when children see their peers trying that pepper, putting that onion on their turkey burger... Yes. Um, eating that California cob salad. I had, I have noticed the child will say, you know what? I don't normally eat this, but I'm going to at least try it. Mm-hmm. And I don't, I never force the children. I encourage them. And definitely when they are engaged and making it themselves, putting the work in, they are more, nine times out of 10, they're going to try it. And I definitely have had parents come in and they're looking like he drank that or she ate that. He won't eat that at home or she won't eat that at you home. I don't know if it's green, purple, or they're, they're not doing all of that. Right. Okay, so share with us some of, some of the recipes and menu options and things that we can yes. maybe make ourselves. Now, I really am excited, and this is a very, I'm going to say, traditional. You hear about the smoothies. They are, there's probably a hundred different, I'm going to say 300 different kinds of smoothies. But I know the ones that we buy. Yes. They're not very healthy. Mm -hmm. There's so much sugar. So much sugar. And I don't mean from the fruit. Right. Added. Added sugar. And... The most important thing when you're making a smoothie, you want to use fruits that are in season. Okay. In season. Because that's when they're going to be their most ripe and sweet. And when you add that with water, when you add it with any kind of coconut milk, almond milk, even yogurt, that's when you're going to get that sweetness without having to add sweetness. But If you want to add a little sweetener, you want to go with agave, which is an excellent, what you call low, low glycemic sugar. Okay. Yes. Um, Coconut sugar is a very uh, good sugar to use also. Any, you don't want to use your white sugars. They're stripped of all kinds of nutrients. They're going to take 
I, they're going to take nutrients out of your body I instead of I have had add. raw sugar. Okay. So like in Haiti, they love to sh- cut down the sugar cane. Yes. And they sit around and suck it. Yes. And that sounds like it would be the most unhealthy thing to do in the world. Oh, no. But you get next to no sugar out of it. Right, <laughs> right. I mean, they're slurping and slurping yes. for what is less than what I've, I, like a spoonful of sugar. Yes. And I, I think it's the, the, the workout more than the actual the workout. sugar consumption. Yes. And I had that. I had the sugar cane in Jamaica. Make it too, and it was just amazing. But I, the fiber it strengthens your teeth, but then it's the nutrients, it's the raw, it's the enzymes, it's the trace minerals, it's all that in the sugar cane because it's not stripped. When you get white sugar, it's processed and it's just stripped. It has no nutrients whatsoever. So that's the case of most things white. I mean, not people, right. but like rice. Right. Like yes. every, when, I, when I'm stripping it down to white, that means like the hull the around hull, it, all of the Which has all the B vitamins. It's gone. Gone. So wild rice, wonderful alternative. You, There is a certain way to cook it. It does take longer, but it's just worth it. It's the better taste. for you. It's better. Brown rice. Yes. Okay, so that. tell us about this smoothie that you have going yes, on Yes, so these, this, definitely this recipe was developed for Virginia Department of Health. This was Fruit and Veggie Month. And this is my favorite smoothie because this just is. <laughs> you can have favorite. Okay, so what's in your favorite? My favorite smoothie is the Cherry Peach Smoothie. Okay, that, that sounds like me already. Cherry Peach Um, Two cups of rice milk. You could use any kind of milk that you would prefer. One cup of pitted cherries. One cup frozen peaches. A medium banana. Tablespoon of coconut sugar. And a pinch of Himalayan pink salt. And you can add ice if The salt sounds like it does not. It's like one of these things does not belong here. Yes. Number one, Himalayan salt. More nutrients in it. Okay. But that contrast, that salt and that sugar is going to enhance the sweetness of your smoothie. You're not going to overdo it with a tablespoon. You want to do a pinch. Speaking of smoothies, I know I'm jumping, but you were asking me how I stay healthy and I have a lot of energy. I Yes, you do. <laughs> I prep my smoothie bags. Literally every week, I get sandwich bags and I put enough fruit, um, strawberries, bananas, spinach in these bags. And that's what I pull out every day and put it in my, I have a Nutra blender. I, I love the single smoothie because I know I'm going to drink that. If I make a large amount, it's going to sit. I may drink all of it. I may not. So definitely a single um, Nutribullet or anything. There's a lot of different blenders, single serve blenders on the market. Well, all right now, if you all want to learn more. So if you're like I am, the entrepreneur on the go, a smoothie is one of the things I do love to have in the mornings. Yes. Wendy just gave you an amazing tip. You want some more tips? You ready for them? Right after this commercial break. (laughs) Life can be a struggle. Find hope healing and answers at the Abundant Life Church of Christ, a place to encounter God through uplifting worship, singing, prayer, the preach word, and fellowship. One step can change your life. One step could shift your destiny. There has never been a better time to take that step than now. Come be our guest every Sunday at 10 a.m. at the Abundant Life Church of Christ, a place where you belong. Ladies, are you looking to move your office from your kitchen table to a space of your own? Are you ready to take your business to the next level? Are you looking for co-working and community? Well, then come join us at the Women's Business Center, RBA, located at 1510 Willow Lawn Drive, Suite 100, directly across the street from the Kroger at Willow Lawn. Visit us on the web at wbcrva.com or on social media at wbcrva. 
Imagine Media Lab, a multimedia and podcast rental studio in partnership with the Women's Business Center, RVA, offers audio and video production services. Record that podcast you've always wanted to start. Create marketing and advertisement content such as voiceovers. Become a member and save on podcasting and production packages. All equipment and software is included in your rental. Located at 1510 Willow Lawn Drive, ImagineMediaLabs.com. Book your session today. Once again, we'd like to say thank you to our sponsors who make this show possible. All right. Yeah, we're looking at the time because we are amazed that our time is going by so quickly. All right. So because we know time is moving, first and foremost, Chef Wendy, please tell everyone how they can contact you. You can contact me on all my social media platforms. That is Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, And what's the other one? Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, at Kids Are Cooking. Spell it out because it's V-A, and I will spell it out, K-I-D-Z-R-C-O-O-K-I-N-V-A. And my website is www.kids.com. K-I-D-Z-R-C-O-O-K-I-N dot info. Kids are cooking. The info throws me off every single time, but that's what it is. Yes. Okay. So I want everyone to really understand why it is that we had to have you on the show. Right. Because we know lots of chefs and some of you are amazing. Maybe we'll have you another time, but you're more than just a chef. Right. We talk about the fact you study nutrition, the tinctures that you make. Like Wendy always comes around. She's like, oh, I made this and this is what we have. And this is what I'm like, what? I learned so much. And I want you all to learn more because I, I, I firmly believe our health is so important. It makes no difference if you have a million dollars and you can barely hold your head up. It makes no difference. So we want you to have it all. Yes. So tell us a little bit more, Wendy. Um, definitely from experience, I learned being an entrepreneur, if you take it, taking care of yourself is vital. It is the only way to be that amazing and awesome entrepreneur. You have got to take care of yourself. I'm going to get right into it because this is my concentration moving forward, finishing up my master's. I'm going to be concentrating in herbal studies. Thank you, Shirley, for that inspiration. Because once I came in your office, we talked about it. I said, I'm going to, that's what I'm going to do. We need it. Yes. We need it. Yes. We as women need it. Um, in particular, we as African Americans need it. Yes, as, as a popular as Americans, we are desperate for good health. Yes, that doesn't take twenty billion years to get to. Yes, so we need you to be out there learning all these things and then making it taste good. Yes, so yes. your tinctures. So my tinctures. I first I have to talk about two other supplements before I get into the tinctures. Is what I take every day. I definitely take a trace mineral supplement. Um, that has been amazing for me and chlorophyll. We talked about that. Yeah, sure. Cause I, I was like, that sounds like pool water to me. Liquid chlorophyll <laughs> was used during world war one as a substitute for blood transfusions. And it's basically mm. the blood, the, the, the blood of the plants obtained by photosynthesis chlorophyll. Okay. So those two sub uh, supplements, I adore, I take them myself. My other tinctures that I recently put together, the main components are adaptogens. I love adaptogens. We don't know what that is. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, they are the most amazing herbs. I think out there, my opinion, there's blood cleaners. Yes. Red clover. There's uh, herbs for circulation, but adaptogens help you adapt to any kind of extreme weather conditions, Mm. hot, cold. I need cold. I can't can't even work when it's cold. Yes. Don't even look for me at the office. I can't help you. It's cold. (laughs) And also stress. It helps you adapt and deal with it. So my number one, my number one adaptogen 
is Siberian ginseng. That is the base of my tincture. I have Siberian ginseng. I have, it's called Rodilio, R-H-O-D-I-O-L-A. That's also an adaptogen. Is that from a rhododendron? <sighs> no, Rodilio. And I'll have more of this on the website. I think I'm going to go ahead and post some more information just in case the viewers have questions. Are you also considering like selling these tinctures that you're making? I am testing right now my, it's about 15 different herbs, liquid tinctures. I've combined, done research on them. I'm testing it on myself, my mom, a friend. And maybe even Shirley. I did volunteer to be a guinea pig because you will have to. This is what people don't understand. If you think <laughs> about what's the the creature that's always running around, running around, running around, running around, running around, running around. Not it's the, not Roadrunner. Whatever. It's a it's some cartoon <laughs> figure, bunny. and it's oh. always like <laughs> Roadrunner. No, not no. Roadrunner. <laughs> anyway, for those who are older, figure it out. You let us know. Tell us. Tell, send us a message and let us know if you know who it is. That is Wendy in real time. So, like, what? it's the end of the day. <laughs> she's taught classes all day long. Yes. And then she comes into the office and she's working until 8 and 9 o'clock at night on paperwork. And she's just running around. Blah, 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 blah. Yes. And I'm just like, oh, my goodness. Like, yes. where's all this coming from? She's living the type of lifestyle that produces just that. Yes. And so I know for most of us, we need to know that. So uh, she she shared some of the information with you, but here's yes. the deal. Today's not the last time you have to see Chef Wendy. No. We're going to get her back and her smock and her, what do they call the hats? Just a chef hat. Um, it's called something. I don't know what it is. It doesn't matter. The point is, we're going to have her back and she's going to show us how to do yeah. some things. Yes. But the bottom line is for you to get some resources, some information, so that you can live a healthy enough lifestyle to work all day, come home and chase the kids around, and yes. still have time for your significant other. I'm just saying. So, if you want to find out more from Chef Wendy, Wendy, how can they reach you? They can definitely reach me at my website. Um, it is kidsarecooking.info, K-I-D-Z-R-C-O-O-K-I-N.info, and then 804-210-KIDS, K-I-D-Z, 5439, 804-210-5439. So again, we want to say a special thank you to our friend. Yes. Okay, we'll share her with you. Chef Wendy, thank you so much for the information. Thank, thank you, you for caring Shirley. about our kids and their health. Yes. And thank you for caring about us as well and our health. And she has lots more exciting events coming up. So be sure to check out her website. Yes. And if she lets us, we'll, we'll share these recipes yes. with you. All right, people. <laughs> Until and next time. Yes, definitely. Classes here at the center. Check on the website. There'll be March, April, and May upcoming. Of 2023. You don't have to wait yes. that long. Yes. So as we always say, live better, do better, be better, and happy entrepreneuring. Ta-ta. Thank you, Shirley. Bye-bye. Like. Share, subscribe, repeat, like, share, subscribe, repeat, repeat, repeat. Thanks for tuning in to Work Hardaholics. Support our show by following on YouTube and all major social media platforms at Work Hardaholic. Until next week, happy entrepreneuring.